Okay, here's my attempt at uh, putting together my first video of a series of things of what ifs, or things you didn't know, or things that you weren't told. Um, things uh, th these guys have put together these great front ends. Uh, uh, Nate's put together this great uh, pinball emporium. These other guys have put up this pinball popper. There's all kinds of front ends out there, but the main thing is you're playing uh, future pinball, visual pinball, and as you're loading tables. Um, They've got some great tutorials on how to do things, but there's some what ifs, some things that are going that, that I, I notice people asking on the forums and stuff. How do you fix this? And and then people answer, some people don't. Uh, I figured out how to do this along the way. So anyway, hopefully some of these videos will help you. So this is going to be my first video on a what if, and I'm going to go over here on my screen. I got dual screens uh, here. I got my back glass. I got my uh, main playing field, and I'm going to open up Pinball Emporium. So what I'm going to talk about here is uh, uh, a, a couple of things. One is uh, back glasses and DMDs, and uh, also how, how your mouse, you can navigate and, and see your mouse while you're trying to work within some of the menus within the game. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to uh, Visual Pinball X. Got to go one more over. And I'm going to go up to this game here called X's and O's. Because this is one I just loaded and it had this problem and I uh, thought I'd fix it while I'm sharing this with you. Now some of you may not consider this a problem. I consider this a problem. Let this game load. Now you notice this game on the back glass has a uh, DMD. But also the back glass. Now you can take your mouse. I, I want to show you. If you're looking at my back glass over here, look at my back glass. You should see two screens. My mouse is not working on the main play field, but it is working on the back glass. So we're, we're going to get to that in a minute. Now you can see the D, when I get over here to the uh, back glass, you can move this external DMD around. You can resize it. And we'll get to that on another video later where you might have a back glass where you want to keep the DMD, but it's not exactly where you want it. So this is one way you can move this around. But I want to get rid of this completely, and I'll tell you why. If you look at this back glass, and this is a, uh, well, they, I'll get to that in a minute. It's one of those back glasses that uh, is set up with the table. It's the second file you put in your tables folder. Uh, B2S, D2S, uh, B2BS, uh, I don't know. We'll get to that in a minute. Long story short, though, you can see it has a, uh, a, a place for the scores. It has a credit and a uh, place for the... Uh, uh, what ball you're on. Matter of fact, we'll just go to that real quick. Now, to, to get back to the game, I gotta take my mouse back over and click on what I hope was the table. And there, I'm loading a coin, I'm loading a coin, I'm loading a credit. And uh, you can see it says ball and play one. And uh, I'm launching it and playing. And see, your screen is showing. Um, your DMD is showing the score, but you're also showing the score on your back glass. So there's really no need for this back glass. So here's what you got to do. To get rid of this back glass on these uh, Visual Pinball X games is hit the F1 key. Now your mouse won't work over here. Now you end up with this menu that's over here on your play field. And it'll always come up on your play field. Now the way you can get rid of that DMD is hit your tab button and I don't know I'll do it real slow if you can see that menu that's on the play field I know my screens not very big and not very sharp but you should see that that menu is getting highlighted moving down the left side as I hit my tab key and I get down to where it says use external DMD once I get down there I hit the space bar it deletes that check mark in there then hit tab and it keeps moving throughout everything don't change any of these other things and move it until it comes clear across to info reset and then I'll hit it one more time and it goes to OK at the very bottom of that menu then hit your enter key and it'll come up with this arrow saying you have to error message saying you have to restart this for this to take effect hit enter again now escape out of the game Restart the game. And this uh, 
this game's working great without that external DMD, which you may or may not want, but I didn't want it on this game. I can hit my uh, add a coin, add a coin, and uh, hit flight ball and play. Now, I don't know why credit didn't show up this time, but uh, it usually does. So, ball and one, ball and one, play, and I can play. I'm not going to bore you with playing. Now, let me show you something else you can do within here. There's another menu, and that is F6, I believe it is. If you hit F6 while you're within the game, you can get this menu. Now, unfortunately, you can't do anything with it. Tab, escape, enter, nothing. Your mouse won't work over there. Again, look at my back glass. My mouse is working, but over on the main play field, it won't work, and there's nothing you can do that I figured out to do other than hit Control Alt Delete on my keyboard. That brings up on my playfield screen the ta I can bring this up to where I can hit Task Manager. I don't know why it shows up on my left screen now, but I can hit Visual Pinball in Task. Hit Escape to get rid of the Task Manager, and now I'm back to my front end. Now I'm back to Pinball Emporium. Okay, so now how do we fix that so our mouse will work? Escape out of Pinball Emporium. Open up File Explorer. I don't know if y'all can see this. I hope you can. This is over on my, this just showed up on my back glass uh, monitor, monitor 2. Uh, I'm going to go to my root drive, and it, it's wherever Pinball Emporium's held, but that's not so much as wherever visual pinball is stored and under if you're running pinball emporium it's mine is under C pinball emporium it goes under emulators and it's under visual pinball and under vi and I hope I've been saying that right all along sometimes I call it virtual pinball it's visual pinball it's v pinball x exe now you can see there's a whole bunch of V Pinball 99, V Pinball 921EXE. You want the V Pinball X EXE. Execute that file. Execute that file out of the front end. You notice on my Playfield glass, it brought up a, a, a file explorer to pick a table to load. I'm just going to close that. I'm going to X that out. You don't need that. Now, what you're going to do is come back over here to Visual Pinball. And it's showing up on my screen here. It could be over here. This screen I've got uh, may look right to you, but I got it turned 90 degrees, so it's hard for me to see. So I'm making sure it's over here. And you're going to go, I'm going to go real slow here. You're going to go to Preferences on Visual Pinball. Video Graphics Options. Video Graphics Options, the second item on the menu. Click that. Now, again, I hope this is big enough for you to see, but come right down the middle. And I wouldn't change any of these other things unless you know what you're doing. But you see this Force Exclusive Full Screen Mode. And if I highlight it, it gives me a little thing that says Enforce Exclusive Full Screen Mode. Enforcing Exclusive Full Screen can slightly reduce input lag. I've done this and don't notice any. But remember, you can turn this back on if you do have a problem. I turn this off. I hit OK. And I close this. I don't have to hit File, Save, or anything. I just close it. Now, everything on Visual Pinball that you run now, that is, that's ran globally on all of your games. So now that that's reset, you could open Visual Pinball from there, but I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to Pinball Emporium. Wait for it to load. I just love Pinball Emporium. I, I, the other ones are great too. I've looked at them. This is just the one I've gotten used to and gotten set up with. And I really like the work Nate put in on it. Uh, he's done a lot of work. I know he doesn't have time to answer all questions and stuff. So I'm hoping this will kind of supplement some of the things that people are having problems with. Okay, let me uh, go over back over to Visual Pinball X. I'm going to go back up to that same game we were on, same table, X's and O's. I'm going to load the game. Okay, there it's loading. Now, see, our back glass is fine. 
without that BMD. Uh, but now let, let, let's hit F1 again. Now, see, my mouse is working on the back glass. If you can see the back glass, as a matter of fact, it's working everywhere on the back glass. I'm going to hit cancel here. Now, if I hit the F4 key, no, not F4, it's F6. What am I talking about? It's F6. Disregard my F4. And since my screen's sideways, I'm just going to drag it over to the back glass. Just drag it over the back glass. And if you can see this, there's different things that you can change within the game. Uh, skill shot sequence, uh, time for skill shot, 10 seconds, 15, 20, for 100K. There's two balls, three balls, four balls, five balls, maximum credits. Uh, matter of fact, this one's set for maximum of 10 credits. Let's change this to 15. And then, uh, okay, credits displayed. And see, credits displayed. Credits weren't displaying earlier. I mentioned that. So we're going to hit credits displayed. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hit OK. Now, okay, after you hit OK, hit F3 to reset the game with new settings. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit F3. Okay. Now, let's see if our credits are displayed. Ah, credits are going up to 10, 11, and I changed it to 15, 12, 13, 14, 15. See, the credits weren't displayed before. So if you're having trouble with credits being displayed on one of your games, hit the F6 button and see if that menu comes up and also have it where your mouse will work by hitting that button to not force full screen display. Okay, so see we've got, uh, we did change that to 15 credits with three balls. We hit OK again, but we don't have to add F3 to save because we already did that. Okay, now we'll just, uh, we'll just escape out of the game. We're back to our front end, and then we're back out. Again, if you want, if you're concerned about that, uh, mouse showing up, Go to video pin ball, V pinball EXX. Again, you'll get the screen over here to open a file, to open a table. Don't worry about it. That screen over on your play field or wherever it may pop up on your computer. Go to preferences. Go to video graphic options, and go back and enable force exclusive full screen mode. Hit OK. Hit close, and now it's back on. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this helps you if you're having trouble uh, getting credits to display, getting certain things to display on your backdrop. Let me show you what I'm talking about, too. I kind of flubbed that up a minute ago. Under Tables, you'll notice these tables, these uh, VPX tables, have these uh, direct B2S uh, files that you can get with them. Some of them provide them with them, and I haven't figured out how there's ways you can make those if you have a table that doesn't have them. But most of these sites, you can search for the uh, direct B2S file to go with, uh, and I may do a video on that on how that's put together. Um, again, I don't know how to make them, but I, I know how to find them. And that is what your background is. And sometimes you need the uh, external DMD, and sometimes you don't. So, anyway, I hope this helps. Um, just a little thing that uh, I found out about how to uh, manipulate your mouse and how to uh, uh, turn that external uh, DMD on and off. So, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back with some more videos like this. Have a good one.